dry today, so I'm just going to start by applying some of my Herol Coconut Lip Balm. Now to prime my face, I'm going to use my Benefit Professional Primer and just focus most of that product around the center of my face where my pores are. For my foundation today, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and I use the shade 33 Beige. And I'll just blend that out using my 102 Silk Finish Brush. With this look obviously being a Kylie Jenner look, I clearly don't look anything like Kylie Jenner and my brows are really light, I have really light coloured hair, but I'm going to do really dark brows today because I'm going to put a really cool wig on at the end of the video and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to have really dark brows and look silly for a little while, but... I'm just going to grab this black shade from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just going to put that through my brows to darken them up a little bit. I'm just going to conceal under my brows to tidy them up a little bit using my NARS concealer in the shade Light 1. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Guys, look what I finally got. I have wanted this ever since I got into like high-end makeup and I finally went out and purchased one the other day, so I'm going to set my eyes with that. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love it! This is so amazing! I tried it on the weekend and it's so good. About it. So I'm just going to tap off the loose product. I find that when I do any of my eyeshadows or any products around my eyes, I have to tap off the loose product, otherwise it goes in my eyes and my eyes water all day. And then I get the craziest, like, ugly eyes happening. So basically, always tap off your product, the excess product. Going to conceal the rest of my face now, so I'll start doing it under my eyes using the same NARS concealer. Just apply a small amount of that under my eyes. Also going to put a little bit down my nose. On my forehead. On the sides of my nose. My cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. And just blend that out with my damp beauty blender. Some of you guys might not know that I do photography in my spare time, so I mostly photograph like weddings and family shoots. So on Sunday I was at the Gold Coast and I organised a photo shoot with a guy that lives down there and we did like just some really cool rooftop photos at Pacific Fair, it was heaps of fun. I'm just going to set everywhere I put that concealer using the same Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to do that on my beauty blender. Um, so the guy that I photographed, his name is Luke B. Jones, and you can find him on Instagram. I'll insert a photo here of one of the shots that we did. Um, it was heaps of fun. So yeah, I love to do photography in my spare time. I love editing, and, and I had a few drinks on the Saturday night, which was nice. And by a few, I literally mean like I had um, one vodka and lemonade, and I also had one cruiser. So that was like pretty much how my night went. In this photo, Carly kind of has like a really light brown smoky eye happening, so that's the look that I'm kind of recreating there. I think it's really pretty and I love the red lips. 
The palette I'm going to use is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to use this shade here called Salted Caramel. So I'm going to kind of like put that into my crease and make sure you tap off any excess colour so we don't get watery eyes. For on my lid, I'm going to mix the two shades Milk Chocolate and Salted Caramel, so these two here. Excuse my broken nail, I was literally trying to get soap to wash my hand the other day and I pushed too hard on the soap and it like snapped my nail off, so I have an ugly nail. So I'm going to mix those two and pack them on my eyelid. Uh, the brush I'm using also is just the Morphe M505 brush. I'm going to take those same two shades on my 231 Luxe Petite Crease brush. Bleh. I'm going to take those same two shades on my 231 Luxe Petite Crease brush. By Zoeva, I can't even speak today. Um, so I'm going to try and make that little V shape she's got happening. So taking it under the eye and then up onto the top of the eye. I'm going to go back over that with my Morphe M505 brush just to blend it out a little bit more. Before I apply any mascara, I'm going to apply my lashes first because I just find I can get them closer to the lash line and then once they're dry, I'll then put mascara on. So I'm just going to apply these lashes here and then I'll be right back. That was a mission. Today my lashes did not want to stick on my face. I had so many lash dramas, but I'm back. They're currently drying. So while my lashes are drying, I'm going to start to sort of contour and bronze my face using my matte Give Me Sun. And using my 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush by Zoeva. So the angle I go on is kind of from like the top of my ear to my lip almost, to like the corner of my lip. But I don't really take it all that way down because I don't want to look like a skeleton. And then just take it up in my hairline and then up onto my forehead there. a little bit on the sides of my nose. Now that the lashes are dry, I'm just going to go over the top of them with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. Just to line over the lashes so that they look a little bit more seamless. No fancy wing today because in Kylie's photo that we are copying today, she doesn't have a wing. I'm going to put a little bit of the Inglot Gel Liner in my waterline, so this one is the black in shade 77. For my mascara today on both the top and bottom lashes, I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. If you guys have tried the normal one in the pink bottle that's not waterproof, can you let me know if it's better than this one because I only have the waterproof one. While my top lashes are drying, I'm going to use my Sun Dip Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to take the shade here, Moonstone, and apply that in all the places on my face where I would normally highlight. And then take a little bit of that on my temple. On my cupid's bow. On the sides of my forehead. I'm going to highlight under my brows now and the inner corner of my eye. So the brush I'm going to use is the Morphe G20 brush and I'm going to use that same highlight. I just went to use the mirror in the palette and there's not one. <laughs> wow. Now that the mascara is dry on the top, I'm just going to apply the same mascara on the bottom lashes. And last but not least, it's time for the lipstick. So I'm using the Kylie Mary Jo K. So I'm using the liquid lipstick and the liner. Ah, uh, look what just happened. I'm going to overline my lips just a little bit because Kylie's lips are bigger than mine and who doesn't want to have bigger lips, right? With the liquid lipstick, I just find that the best way to apply this, especially the red, I've noticed it's probably the worst one of all the formulas I have of the Kylie lip kits. Um, I'm going to drop a little bit of my Inglot Dura Line onto the wand, so I'll show you how I do that and it just makes the lipstick stay on a little bit nicer. Some of the Dura Line onto that. I didn't even focus on there, but you guys get what I mean. And just apply that straight onto the lips. So 
So this is what the makeup looks like when it's finished. I like how Carly's makeup looks. I have a really itchy leg. Um, I like how Carly's makeup looks. I really light on the eyes, but sometimes like a more bold look. And I think it looks really cool. Like a lot of the time I forget, oh, I can have like less on my eyes and it still look really cool. So I hope you guys like this look. I pretty much did this look just so I can try out this black wig that I got sent from Donna Love Hair. So I'm going to go and put that on and I'll be right back. If you guys like the look of this wig, I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase one from down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Where the sunrise lasts forever And it's so